Sometimes, the default custom post type fields might not be enough for your requirements, and you need to store additional data on a custom post type. Fortunately, WordPress supports something called post metadata, which allows you to store additional information about a post. Let's look at how you can use post metadata on a post or custom post type. Metadata is a way to store additional information about a post in a WordPress database. Post metadata is stored in the post meta table as key value pairs. If you look at the structure of the post meta table in a WordPress database, you will see that it has four columns, meta ID, post ID, meta key, and meta value. Post ID is the ID of the post that the metadata is associated with. Meta key is the name of the field, and meta value is its value. You can add post meta to a post using the add post meta function. This function takes three parameters, the ID of the post, the name of the metadata, and the value of the metadata. So let's say you wanted to add a post metadata field to a post with the ID of one and you wanted to store, say, the location where the post was written as London. You would do this using the following code, calling add post meta, passing in the post ID, the key, and the value. There are other functions for working with post metadata, such as update post meta, delete post meta, and get post meta. You can read more about these and how to use them in plugins in the metadata page in the plugin developer handbook. Adding post meta via code is one way but it's also possible to enable site administrators the ability to add post metadata via the WordPress admin interface. One way to do this is via the custom fields panel for the post type. To enable the custom fields panel, you will first need to make sure your custom post type supports metadata. To do this, you need to add or update the supports argument to include support for custom fields. Then, when editing a custom post type, click on the Editor's Options icon, Preferences, Panels, and enable the Custom Fields panel. This will ask you to refresh the page, and then you'll see a Custom Fields panel at the bottom of the screen. Here, you can add a new custom field and give it a name and a value. For example, you could store the ISBN of the book. This panel uses the add post meta function under the hood to add the metadata to the post. It is also possible to pre-populate the name field of the custom fields panel with a list of predefined meta fields. To do this, you need to hook into the post meta form keys filter and add the names of the meta fields that you want to display in the custom fields panel. Post meta form keys filter is fired just before the HTML of the custom fields panel is rendered and passes in two parameters, an array of meta keys and the post object. If no other keys are predefined, a query will be run to fetch the keys of any existing metadata for the post. So by updating the array of meta keys in this filter, you can add meta field keys to the custom fields panel to make it easier for your users to add the correct metadata. Here is an example of how you could do this. You register a callback function onto the post meta form keys filter and set your accepted arguments to two to accept both arguments from the filter. Then check if the post's type is book and if it is, add the ISBN option to the keys array and then return that array. If the post type is a book, it will add the ISBN meta field to the custom fields panel. Now, if you create or edit a book with the custom fields panel enable, you'll see the ISBN field is available to add as metadata to the post. Another way to allow site administrators to add post metadata is to use custom meta boxes. Working with custom meta boxes, however, also requires a good understanding of developing with security in mind. But for now, you can read about them in the custom meta boxes page in the plugin developer handbook. You will learn how to work with meta boxes in the Plugin Developer Learning Pathway.